have I got something cool to show you? Now, this will basically make you a spy or FBI agent or anything like that. Now, I am an everyday average consumer, so I don't pretend to be an espionage agent, uh, but this is just a real world demonstration, not trying to sell you on this little guy, but to see if in fact it actually works. Today, we are going to be looking for bugs, not like bugs that are gross bugs, but bugs as in like spy bugs, like the phone is bugged or there's a bug in our room and there is some FBI surveillance van out front and they're listening in on our conversation as we divulge national secrets. You want to know if they're listening. You can see if you, that you are being bugged using this little bug hunter expert, BH-03. And you can hook up headphones to this. Uh, basically, it, it uh, well, you, let's just show you how it works, okay? Uh, we're going to turn this on right there. And yes, there is a fast little boot up time, which I appreciate being an iPhone owner that takes like five minutes to boot up my iPhone. And you could put headphones in, but I want you to hear the beep itself. And so here we go. Now, how I personally hold it is like this. So we're just gonna hold it like this so you can follow along. And as we go around the room, you're gonna see some little green mountains. And the higher those green mountains are, the stronger the signal. Whoa, as you can see, there's a pretty strong signal. If we were to kind of go back to here, strong signal coming from, oh, lo and behold, there's a computer. Oh, obviously. All right, let's go over to here because of course you don't want necessarily want to stand in one position when you're sweeping a room or anything like that. But we're gonna face just this blank wall right here. There's nothing but weapons and other violent things on this wall. And we're gonna go ahead and hold it up like this. And we're gonna go to the right. Oh, nothing really over there. And now we're gonna be going to the left. Oh, it's getting stronger. And there's, there's, there's just a monitor over here. How strange. And so we're gonna go up. Oh, uh, it's sensing not as strong as when we were down here. Uh, do you see that little green mountain gets stronger? We're gonna point down. Oh wow, now it's going crazy. Wow, we're getting hot, we're getting hot. And oh, look at that. There's a little wireless microphone hidden in that corner. How interesting. That little guy is actually transferring. Uh, you can see it's going absolutely crazy. And uh, this is kind of kind of the cool thing about this. If I were to take this microphone and I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down, watch what happens to the Green Mountain right when I turn this microphone off. Ready? Up oh, and silence. That's because it was detecting the wireless signal. Beautiful, eh? Now I did already test this at home, but now I'm actually in a hotel room, which, you know, there could have been someone in here before. Maybe they planted a bug. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Power button, hold that down. And as you can kind of tell, my antenna is up and we are ready to rock. Already there seems to be quite a bit of interference. So let's go to, let's go to a nice little, by the way, in case, if it looks like it's kind of flashing on your camera, um, on your end, it's, uh, it, it's not flashing to the human eye. So you'll see that the green peak is all the way up there. So we're gonna kind of reset that by holding down okay for about two seconds. And there's the reset point right there. Now, it, it, it seems fairly consistent, but we're gonna kind of hold it out like this, um, sort of chest height. And uh, first of all, it's a pretty good idea to identify certain devices around the room that could have things actually planted in them. Uh, so no real spike right there. Another very popular device to have some sort of hidden bug are actually clocks, um, especially radio type clocks. And as you can see, there's there's no spike whatsoever on that. And oh, there's the focus. Yep, 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 no spike. All right, looking good, looking good. So as we kind of go around the room, um, I'm gonna kind of go uh, on the walls, cushions, hold it down around here, go over to maybe the AC control unit. And as we're kind of going around like this, whoa, there's quite a spike right there. Okay, let's go to the right. Oh, it's kind of going down. Let's go back to the left. That's kind of strange. Wow, it's quite a significant spike. And so if we were to kind of go up here like this, 
Um, there's a bit of a spike when we're looking at this lampshade, so maybe it's a special kind of bulb that might actually have a listening device in it, so that might be worth unscrewing if, you're, uh, if you want to be cautious like that. But there was a bigger spike when we kind of went to the left over here. Wow. Okay, we're getting a little closer. So there seems to be something in this cabinet uh, that is giving off quite a bit of a, of a spike. Do you see those green mountains, how high they are? So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and... Oh, there's a microwave in there. Now before you're like, oh, it gave a false reading, it, it sensed the microwave. That's what this is supposed to do. It's actually supposed to sense these kind of frequencies that could actually be a bug. So if in this particular case, you might want to unplug that thing or open it up and check it or something like that, depending on the degree of the security that you want. But it basically identified something. So if we get a little closer, you see how high those spikes get? And when we move further away, those spikes go down just slightly. And we're gonna actually rotate this way. And now they're a bit down. Oh, 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 I'm actually sensing something over here too. Anyway, you can have quite a bit of fun, but do note that this does actually take quite a bit of finesse and prowess to get to know this thing. It's not the most user-friendly of objects. It's not like you have um, an iPhone app that's designed for hipsters. This is just a down and dirty way of identifying frequency spikes uh, often emitted by bugs. And so if this is worth it to you, um, the, the actual construction is fairly plasticky. They, they say that it's uh, made with ABS plastic, uh, shockproof plastic, but I would not drop this um, to test that because there's some fairly sensitive um, electronics in there. So I actually put this in a, um, in a little soft carrying pouch when I'm going. By the way, um, this might be noteworthy, but this was in a 115 degree Fahrenheit car and it was in there for about three to four hours and the battery uh, still seems to be operating just fine. I would not recommend putting it in that much heat, obviously, but anyway, that just goes to show that when you're on the road, uh, this might actually work for you. Um, also, you uh, can plug some headphones in right there. You can charge it right there using the little included charging cables, and uh, that is it. Now, do note that this is not a thorough tutorial on how to use this thing, um, because I could go on and on into filters, um, for example, if you are uh, sensing that there's quite a bit of Wi-Fi interference, uh, you can turn on that filter, and if we were to go back, uh, there might be less Wi-Fi interference when that filter is on. We are in an outside environment right now. I'm gonna go ahead and power on and show you a rather interesting little feature. So there's a little beeping sound going on, but for some people that's not quite enough. So we're gonna go down into settings by clicking that little icon and then down to sound, press okay. And we actually want the sound feedback. There you go, so now it sounds kind of crackly. Click okay and to get out of that, push that again. And there we are. So now you can actually hear a bit of the crackling noise going on. So if we were to go on over to right there, you can actually hear the crackling noise because that is an actual camera that is connected to my house. That's a live feed right there. And so of course, if we were over here, and there you go, not as much, but once we were to start to gently pan to the left, you can see a bit of a spike and also definitely hear that crackling noise as we get closer to that. So that sound feedback is sometimes rather helpful. Uh, but this will suffice quite nicely for identifying bugs and in my tests of uh, identifying a, uh, a wireless microphone that was uh, being broadcasted, it actually tracked that fairly, fairly easily and fairly well. So very impressed, it does work. Highly recommended if you can afford the price point. That's it, I am Bo Shabazu. Hopefully this down and dirty demonstration of the Bug Hunter Expert is helpful in determining whether or not it's right for you.